There are narcissistic people who play the long game. That is, they will string you along for a long, long time, creating a world that feels like a relationship to you, but is really just a string of future faking, love bomb and devalue cycles. So the whole time you're investing your time, your energy, your money, your love, your emotions, all of it into this relationship which is really kind of a pseudo relationship because as we know the narcissist isn't really participating in the relationship to relate they're participating in the relationship to control the whole thing so as time goes on what happens to your sense of loyalty what happens to your feelings of not wanting to let go of this relationship that you have invested everything into this is what's called a sunk cost fallacy my name is lise colucci and i am here to help you understand and heal from toxic narcissistic relationships so when narcissistic people keep you around, even though it seems like they don't even like you, you know, they're stringing you along from one minute to the next, from one gaslighting, horrible situation into the love bombing that follows and back into the cycle over and over and over again. They know that it is causing you to feel invested. It's creating an investment really for both of you in the situation. They're investing their time in grooming you and in creating this life with you where you are compliant and you're under their control. Meanwhile, you're investing your time and your energy and your focus and your love and your care and your empathy and all of it toward a person who is going to continually manipulate you because you have invested so much time and so much energy. Sometimes it can be really hard to let go and not feel like you're the one losing out, not feel like you've lost something huge in your life simply because of all of the time and energy and focus and money and all of that that you have invested into it. Is that making sense? This is another take on why it is difficult to leave a narcissist. It's not just the trauma bonding. It is not just the feelings of love or the feelings of hurt or rejection that we get after a discard. There's also all of this investment that we put in. When I talk to people in coaching, this is huge for some people. This is the hook that keeps them being able to move forward with their life because they feel that, but it's not fair. I've invested everything into this. It is like investing everything into the stock market and losing it all, right? It is similar to when you have a financial loss and sometimes it is a financial loss when you're dealing with a narcissistic person. So understanding what's going on, understanding that this is a piece of it and recognizing you guys, you're not losing when you leave a toxic person you are regaining yourself, you're regaining your life. And yes, there has been time lost. The biggest thievery a narcissist does is stealing of your time. Okay, so don't let them steal another minute. If you can understand this and understand that yes, there was a loss and yes, it's going to have some pain and discomfort and healing involved to get past it. But truly what you invested in wasn't a healthy relationship you were the healthy relationship never existed you were doing your best to create one with someone that could not participate and create back and so cutting your losses moving on and healing sometimes it just takes the recognition of this and looking at it as it is and accepting that this is what it was so that you can move forward and heal with your life this is something you've gone through let me know in the comments i think a lot of the methods used to help heal from trauma bonding in particular can help you here as well seeing it for what it is seeing that yes i recognize this hurts that i have a huge loss here grieving what you need to grieve through this and learning to let go to obsessing on this and fixating on the loss and stop fixating on what you felt like was investing into a relationship and looking to the future, looking forward, looking at the present, looking at right now. You are no longer, if you've left this situation, having the toxic abuse from a toxic narcissistic person. And so it's a gain, okay? Now you have time to focus on yourself. Now you have time to recreate your life and grow your future in a healthy way. If you need help with anything, check out the info in the main description of every video, you guys. 
It's all there for coaching, group coaching, or peer support. And I will see you guys on the next video.